Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this little contraption that I built. It is known as the Capizza Pendulum and it has a very interesting behavior as we will see later. This pendulum was first uh, described or built by Stephenson in 1908 but the physics of how it works was not known until 50 years later almost in 1951 when Pyotr Kapitsa, a Russian physicist, developed a full theory of how the pendulum works. Kapitsa won the Nobel Prize in Physics, by the way, and uh, as we will see later, it has a very interesting movement. We will talk about a little uh, on the construction and then we will see it in action. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. I added two pieces to the motor in order to obtain the eccentric movement. This one, this plastic part, is from a terminal block. You can get this in electronics stores. As you can see, it has a hole here and a pair of screws so that you can attach this to the axis of the motor and to this other wire piece simply by using the screw. Let me power the motor. So this diameter here is the distance that our system goes up and down. And you can change that distance simply by bending the wire more or less. And here we can see the full mechanism. In fact, it works the same as in the internal combustion engine. This part here that is attached to the motor will be the crankshaft. And when it rotates, it moves this connecting rod that is attached to the axis that moves up and down. And that will be the piston in a combustion engine. When we apply current to the electric motor, this wire goes up and down. Finally, I added this piece of wood to the vertical axis that goes up and down. It is freely to rotate, to move, and actually it is an inverted pendulum. Obviously, it doesn't stay in the vertical because it is an unstable point. So it falls to one side or the other because of gravity. But let's see what happens when we power the motor. As you could see, the pendulum now stays in the vertical position. 
the equilibrium conditions change when we power the motor and now the vertical position is a stable equilibrium point of the system. It is a surprising and non-intuitive behavior. However, as everything, it is governed by the laws of physics. If you want to learn more about Capizza's pendulum, I give you a couple of links in the description of this video where you can learn more about it. That's all for today. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.